between our chief White House correspondent John Carl for more on this. And the President Erdogan of Turkey also spoke to President Trump yesterday. Uh, and the President is shifting his story a bit, but still calling Saudi Arabia an incredible ally. So he's got to figure out how to balance punishing the Saudis for this while preserving the relationship. That's right, George. And he's got some real pressure coming, genuine anger coming from both Republicans and Democrats in Congress who want to see sanctions on Saudi Arabia. Rand Paul, one of the president's closest allies, said he'd like to see the arms sales uh, scheduled to Saudi Arabia cut off. The president himself has been kind of all over the map. You heard Ian Pinnell uh, mention the interview with the Washington Post where the president said obviously there's been deception, there's been lies, their stories are all over the place. But in that very same interview, George, the president said this of the crown prince, saying he's a strong person, he has very good control, he's seen as a person who can keep things under check, and I mean that in a positive way. So although the president has been critical in some senses of the Saudis, although he has called for severe punishment, he does not seem like he wants to do anything that could jeopardize the U.S.-Saudi relationship. That could be trouble for him if there's more evidence implicating the crown prince going forward. Fifteen days until the midterm elections, president out on the stump just about every day. His poll number is also on the rise. Uh, absolutely. We had a, a new poll, NBC Wall Street Journal poll yesterday, that had his approval rating at the highest point of his presidency. 47 uh, percent. Of course, you still had a net negative 49 percent disapproving. And even in that poll, George, there were signs of trouble for the Republicans. In that poll, Democrats uh, were seen as significantly more likely to vote in the midterm elections than Republicans, which would be a big change from recent midterm elections. And they still have about a nine point edge in the House races. OK, John, thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.